ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഇ സി അക്കാഡമി ഇൻ ദിസ് ലെക്ചർ വിൽ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ടു കൺട്രോൾ സിസ്റ്റംസ് ബിഫോർ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് കൺട്രോൾ സിസ്റ്റം വി നീഡ് ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് എ സിസ്റ്റം എ സിസ്റ്റം ഈസ് എൻ യൂണിറ്റ് ദറ്റ് ടേക്സ് ഇൻപുട്ട് പ്രൊസസ് ദി ഇൻപുട്ട് ആൻഡ് പ്രൊവൈഡ്സ് ദി ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് so the system will process the input and it will provide the output now we will understand what is a control system control system is the combination of components that are connected together to perform a specific operation here the output of the system is controlled by the input that's why the name control system so if you define up to here that is the combination of components that are connected together to perform a specific operation so up to here it is the definition of system along with that if you add the output of the system is controlled by the input that is the definition of control system so this is very important so the output is controlled by the input in the control system now there are two basic types of control systems first one is open loop control system and second one is closed loop control system first we'll understand the open loop control system this figure shows a simple representation of open loop control system you can see there is a system where it is taking the input and that input is processed and it is providing the output here this system just process the input and it will give the output here output is not controlled or it is not measured that's why it is known as open loop control system so coming to its advantages so this control system is very simple in construction since it is simple in construction we can say it is cheap and since it is taking the input processing the input and providing the output so this system is stable since there is no closed loop here no feedback here so this system is less accurate so we can say this system is less accurate the examples of open loop control systems are traffic light signal electric hand dryer and automatic washing machine so here in all these three examples you are just providing the input so whatever input is provided so based on that it is giving the output now let us understand closed loop control system this figure shows the closed loop control system here in a closed loop control system the output is fed back to the input and the comparator will compare the output with input and gives the signal which is known as error signal here controller depending upon the error signal from the comparator provides the output this is how the closed loop control system works for example if we consider a room heater whose functionality is to maintain the room temperature here the feedback element will monitor the output which is the actual temperature with the input which is the desired temperature if any change at the output temperature that will be compared by the comparator and an error signal is given to the controller so that it can vary the output so this is one of the example of closed loop control system the advantage of closed loop control system is it is more accurate compared to the open loop control system since uh, the output is continuously monitored here we will get high accuracy in this type of system compared to open loop control system it is complex in construction since it is complex we can say it is costly compared to open loop control system and since we are adding more components in the closed loop control system it is less stable compared to the open loop control system this is the brief introduction regarding the control system hope you have understood the topic thank you